Welcome to Switch Comics. My name is Marco, and today I'm going to be showing you one method that you can use to display your graded comics up on your wall using these little acrylic shelves that I bought off of Amazon. And uh, these in particular, I'll have a link in the description. Uh, they are just, uh, you know, probably could really squeeze about, you know, two slabs in there. So you want a little bit of leeway. And oh, I got the slab upside down. <laughs> you want a little bit of leeway so that you can have some room to lean the comic back. And which, by the way, if you're interested in winning this uh, uh, crossover number three McFarlane variant, I do apologize for all the glare. It's a foil, and I have now three lights in my room. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you're interested in winning that one, I'm going to be giving away on Chris the Comic Vet's uh, live stream this upcoming Wednesday. He's celebrating a thousand subscribers, so definitely tune into that. Um, but uh, anyway, so yeah, I got these. Uh, these shelves and I my previous method I had my comics hung up on the wall using J channel and J channel was very effective for me I used it for quite a long time it was pretty easy to set up pretty easy to maintain and uh, I think that old wall cost me like twenty five dollars to put up obviously not the comics just, just the J channel and screws and stuff so it's very very affordable uh, this was uh, a bit more expensive but I would say even more easy to set up um, this was something I was able to do very easily by myself uh, because with the J channel a big advantage of this over the J channel is it is hard acrylic that is going to um, you know be easy in, to deal with as far as like it making sure it's level and everything when you're doing the uh, J channel it's a bit floppier and will present a little bit more problems uh, as far as making, you have to really make sure that your measurements are all correct and everything's level and, and all that. I found this to be significantly easier. Um, and, uh, yeah, the reason I decided to swap over wasn't because I didn't necessarily like the J channel anymore. If you want to use J channel, I think that's a completely fine method to do. Um, I recently swapped over my computer desk. It used to be in front of that wall, just like directly in front of it. Um, wrapping around the wall kinda and then I wanted to move things around a little bit better to have a better workspace and everything and then also um, last year I picked up 64 slabs if you didn't check out my video of every slab I picked up in 2022 I picked up a lot of slabs and my comic wall pr could previously only hold 30 comics so yeah something had to be done and I was like well I'm just gonna expand this whole comic wall here and um, and it's gonna it's gonna go all the way to the door there now. Now there's, and people have been asking me what are these little hoops for? Those used to be well, I mean they still are, but they're they're helmet stands. Uh, and I had some helmets up there, but I took them down in preparation because I knew it was gonna be a comic wall here pretty soon. So um, yeah, those used to be helmet stands. I'm getting ready to take them off the wall, and uh, yeah, gonna have that comic wall go all the way basically to the door, right to the where that corner's at. Um, uh, and again, like like I said, nothing's wrong with J Channel. There's other st type of methods of putting individual comics up on the wall. Which, if you're looking to do, you know, maybe just a handful of comics, might be a little bit uh, nicer. Especially like I'm going for the throw everything, not everything, but throw you know just big, just full wall of comics. You don't see the wall anymore. Some people might want. You know, a comic there, and then a little spacing, and then a comic over here, and, you know, people have different desires, so for that, you probably would want a more individual thing. If you don't want to display all your stuff, you just want to display some of your stuff, or you're not that big of a slab guy, maybe you don't have as many as, as me, or some of the other lunatics here in, the, in this hobby. Um, but yeah, so there's, there's lots of different methods, so definitely think about it before choosing what's best for you. Uh, these were were pretty inexpensive. Uh, when you go to the link on Amazon, uh, there you can buy two uh, two pieces, four pieces, or six pieces. And um, for whatever reason, so it makes sense that the four piece is a better value than the two piece. But strangely enough, the four piece is also better value than the six piece. So I ordered a bunch of four pieces. Um, so just yet, yeah, don't assume that the six piece will be a better deal. Uh, in that, you're going to get four of these shelves when you open the box. You get a little baggie here of, um, it's going to be screws as well as the little white plastic piece that's that's the drywall part. And I'll be showing you how to do that here. And then it also comes with this little baggie of um, little pieces of hard plastic. And this wouldn't work uh, for me 
Um, for my purposes, if you wanted to use this maybe for something else, but they're just little uh, end caps, basically. Let's see. You can see there's a little hole there, and you just insert it into the end, and it fits in to create uh, a little end cap so nothing will slide out. The way, If you follow the way that I'll be setting up these shelves, you will not have to worry about any of them sliding out that way. They should be pretty firm, pretty snug, uh, and depending on how you want to do it, you can even, because for example, I have, I, this is the first ones I started to do, and I was experimenting along the way, and that's why I wanted to put up some before I made this video so I could have some, some ideas and some advice. So like this one here is pretty snug. If you look, and he, you can even hear, you know, it like kind of snaps in with that other shelf sitting on top of it. And then this shelf, I have, you know, full complete space. There's, a, you know, not, not a ton, but ju just enough space where it's not touching the shelf above it. And uh, I wanted to make sure, basically, did I have to have it where it, the secondary shelf was clamping down on it? Or could I do it where it's just leaning back and it's safe? Now, granted, from my studies, it is fine to have it where it's leaning back and it's safe. Keep in mind, uh, if you do have anything... Um, maybe any animals, any kids or whatever, uh, you know, this is just my bedroom and there's, I do have animals, but none of them are wild in that regard. I have a cat, but she's an old cat and just yells at me. That's all she does. <laughs> so she doesn't jump around and knock stuff over or whatever. So f this is a fine setup for me. It may be something you want to consider if you have any of those or any other external features that may, you know, potentially, because, like, if I were to tap that like that, it will fall over. Um, so if something were to happen, and also, or maybe if you're just a clumsy, clumsy person, I don't know, whatever the case may be, um, you could theoretically also, um, and that's what was a little bit better about the J-Channel, um, the fact that it was flimsy. So with the J-Channel, I'd have a comic sitting in there, and then I'd have another piece on top, barely touching like the the, uh, the top there so but it was since it was flimsy I could very easily like just kind of pull on the comic and it would flip right out of there um, I haven't tried that method with this but I imagine since it's harder that would be a lot more difficult and probably cause some some scratches and scraping and stuff like that on, on the slab and on the shelves and, um, and that's another part of the reason why I, I chose to do these I want to see I, I thought it might be easier I thought um, it might look a little cleaner because although I didn't mind the big white bars on the J channel setup, uh, and some people you know might prefer that. I just I was like, mm, let me see what it looks like if you see just nothing but comics, no, nothing in the way. Because uh, like I, I you know I really like it the way that the shelves or these acrylic shelves you know they just blend in. You, I mean you know it's plastic on top of plastic that's the slabs and it all just blends in together and you can't really even see it. Just looks like they're there you know. So I really like that. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else before we get into setting this stuff up. Uh, like I said, I did some some experimenting. Uh, also, I did mention earlier, there is a third light now. So I've changed my setup and uh, I actually have one light over here to the right of me, one light uh, to the left of me, and then one light behind lighting up the comics back there. I will also be making a video this weekend talking about how to set up lights. Um, this is a big thing, I think, especially in the comic community. Uh, there's a lot of videos you can look up on how to set up lights and how to, you know, do this and whatever. But they don't often talk about if you have something that would be reflective in the background. And uh, so, as you can see here, there is just no glare. I have three lights set up, and there's no glare in my comics at all. And uh, it just takes a little bit of work. And I'll be making a video explaining that uh, probably coming out Sunday. If you're interested in that, uh, if you are, you know, a YouTube uh, comic content creator here, um, or even, you know, maybe you just have struggles taking pictures and stuff like that, and, you know, you maybe post stuff to Instagram or something, you know, who knows. But anyway, um, I'll be making a video about that as well, if that is something you're interested in. Uh, but let's go ahead, I guess, and go ahead and get into it. Alrighty, so now I've gotten rid of the helmet hangers on the wall, and I went ahead and built the rest of the shelves as well. Now, the shelves being built are actually an important part of my process because I've used the shelves as a measuring tool, or in the case of them being over here on my desk, I used the desk as a measuring tool. I wanted them to be firmly sitting on top, 
so that there was no real difference. You know, I didn't want any space. I didn't want to put these up there, these shelves, the acrylic shelves, and then get these built and then be like, oh, actually, I need to move them up a little higher because they're in the way. I just I went ahead for all these that I did on the wall here. I had one shelf already pre-built um, and I was just scooting it around, even like the ones behind here, behind my Galaga machine. I just kept moving the shelf around to get them all in the same spot. Now, with that method, keep in mind, if you have a really wonky floor, um, you know, just keep that in mind. It might, you know, make things a little unlevel in some areas. The very last shelf I put down there, I actually had to put a little uh, piece of paper, you know, underneath the shelf to kind of help level it out. Now, I have everything you need set up right over here. So it's pretty simple, but you need a few tools. So I have a drill here that has a, yeah, I don't know what this drill bit is called, but it's for, you know, just drilling a, a big hole straight through the wall. With uh, with these little acrylic shelves, we will not be using a stud finder and finding the studs to drill into uh, because they have very specific spots for uh, the screw holes to go into. Uh, and it's just two. There's just, you know, one on the left, one on the right, and those are what you have. Uh, now, granted, I do want to say these over here, well, the bottom ones I put on with command strips, but then I actually started using for the top ones because I ran out of command strips. I went to Walgreens and they didn't have any command strips, but they did have mounting tape. So I used mounting tape on these and there's no screws in this at all because I couldn't screw into this wall and the mounting tape seems to be working just fine. So this is an alternative option. It's going to be a little bit more expensive. You know, these are like, you know, eight or nine bucks a roll. Uh, and, you know, granted, I still have quite a bit left. And I used mounting tape on uh, three of these, I think. Well, actually, I had to use it on one of those because uh, because of an accident. But <laughs> don't worry about that. Anyway, um, that being said, if you do kind of mess up, because uh, the little plastic piece, which I'll show you here in a second, fell into the wall. So I had to use mounting tape to uh, better secure one of those. Uh, but yeah, but even if you just want to fully use mounting tape, you can go ahead and do that. And I've had no issue with them at all. Again, these aren't very heavy. So, you, you know, it's not something you have to be super, super secure about. Um, but anyway, so yeah, we will drill the hole and then I have, for me, I just have a little hand screwdriver uh, with the regular drill bit. Um, I don't know if that'll focus, yeah. So these are gonna be for anyone that doesn't know. Um, you have these little white plastic pieces. We drill the hole into the wall. Uh, we will then hammer in the little white plastic pieces and then we put the shelf up there and then we screw the regular screws into the plastic pieces. And for me, instead of having to swap out the drill bits between, you know, each time I need to use a different one, I am just going to uh, ha have a little hand screwdriver and you're, you're just putting the screws into uh, plastic. So it's not that hard to screw into, you know, um, not very tedious or hard work or anything. So for me, I just have a little hand screwdriver. I guess if you had two drills, you could do that too. Uh, so we have the, yeah, the screws, we have the drill, we have the uh, screwdriver. Uh, we have a Sharpie, which is just going to be to, you know, make little points. Um, so you know where to drill the hole in with this. And then I, I have an ax. Uh, you can also use a hammer. I'm using this as a hammer. I don't know where my hammer is, uh, but this will work just fine uh, to do what we need to do. And then obviously we have our shelves. Uh, the last thing that you'll need to have on standby here is just some slabs. This is an important part of the measuring process that I found to be the most easy. Uh, simply, you know, I put a shelf on there and then I put, uh, put a slab up there, set the next shelf on top of those slabs so that I, and then use that to measure. So I know where to put the holes. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, so that's how I started doing these. Like I said, basically as I went along, I got a little bit more, or I kept trying different processes and this is what I found to be most effective. Um, so I, you know, I think there's a lot of ways you could do it and in with the same result, but, um, yeah, what I'm about to show you, I think is, is pretty easy. So let's go ahead and start putting these on the wall. All right. So the first thing I want to do is take one of the acrylic shelves here and place it again. So I'm using my wooden shelves here as a measuring tool and I uh, found that super, super convenient and a lot easier uh, to do. So this bottom one is definitely going to be nice and flat and even with my shelves and aesthetically that is what I'm going for. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it not quite all the way up against this comic because two slabs are actually going to be a little bit wider than one of these acrylic shelves. So just, you know, leave maybe a couple inches or so, inch and a half in between each shelf. And then, so I'm gonna just place it fine where 
I feel comfortable. And I'm not. So you could probably take a more mathematical approach to getting this all set up. Uh, but yeah, so for me, I just kind of eyeball it. That's good enough. And I'm going to take my Sharpie and then just mark at the top there where I need to drill my holes. And then I'm going to move the shelf out of the way and then pop out my drill. So then I found this is something that's just convenient with the size of my drill. If I lay it flat here, it is pretty much level exactly where it needs to be. Uh, so that's another thing that's been kind of convenient for me to uh, get my measurements. And I just happened to notice that. I was being a lot more precautious at first. And then I was like, well, this is pretty perfect here. So now granted, I still go through the Sharpie process, make sure I get it exactly right. Uh, and make sure, you know, that they're level with each other. But uh, so then, yeah, you just want to get it right there on the mark. Uh, you know, try to be as precise as you can with that. Because, uh, you know, you do one a little too high, one a little too low, you might make it a little funky. So then with this, you just want to... Okay, so it seems I have found a hard spot in my wall. Uh, so behind here must be some kind of brick or something. And I don't want to go through that. So I'm going to readjust my shelf and hope that uh, I can just scoot it over a little and it'll be okay. So again, there's you have lots of room to play with because you have a little bit of uh, space on each side. Or in this case, it'll probably be all the space on one side. And something like this you won't notice once all the comics are up. Because again, the, the acrylic plastic really just blends into everything. Uh, you know, to the, all the other slab plastic. So I'm going to scoot it over here about an inch and give it a shot. Uh, I have had this issue while doing a different spot on the wall. I thought that was going to be the only spot. Uh, but now as I'm coming a little further down... I see that uh, there is more issues, apparently, but um, nothing nothing super big. Now, do keep in mind, well, I'm going to go ahead and try this one first, because this is the spot that was giving me trouble, so I'm going to try this one first, but do keep in mind that you, now I have two spots over here, two marky sh marker shots, sh spots, there we go, God, I can't talk, so just keep in mind that, uh, you know, you're going to be drilling into the right one and everything there. So I'm going to line that up, and hopefully this goes through smooth. Okay, that's even worse. Um, so, not great for my wall, but I will then, now I guess, try to move it to the right. Uh, and hopefully that will work out for me. I, another good thing about having space in between each uh, shelf is if I want to get a comic out... Uh, I guess you can see that. So I can, you know, kind of move them by grabbing the specific comic uh, by its its corner. So, like, I can move this a lot closer, but I'm going to be getting rid of all of my uh, ability to really uh, pinch that one in particular comic. Uh, but, I mean, it's not too difficult to get it out anyway. Um, that is just something that I like um, when spacing my, my shelves apart. So now I have... Two holes that aren't ne needed in my wall, and, uh, well, two more holes, I should say, and several Sharpie marks, but we are going to give it one more shot here. Um, okay, and that's what you want. Now, also, it is worth keeping a note, um, make sure that you don't get one of these that are too big. If you do that, um, the plastic piece won't stay into the wall. So... Just like that, and if you need, I, I'd rather go a little too small, and then you can kind of wiggle it, the drill while it's in there, just a little bit to create a little extra space if needed. So we're going to kind of prime that up against there, and so to make sure. So I got the little plastic piece here now, and make sure you put the part where the hole is facing outward so that you can screw it in. And so we're going to put that up against there. And then use my, my hammer axe here to bang that in. And don't hit too far in. You want to hit just enough. Okay. So just like that, I'm going to do it on the other one now. Let me get it out of the package. Ah, did not lose it. All right. That's this one right here. Let's see. Okay, so now that we got those in, 
we can put the shelf back and you actually get out two screws. And like I said, these I'm just going to put in with my uh, little hand screwdriver. It is simple enough. Just have to make sure that it is lined up. Um, and with anything, anytime you're putting screws into something or uh, anything, never uh, tighten the first one all the way. Just kind of get it in there. That is unfortunate. So the plastic piece just went through the wall. So uh, that is, I didn't think that I moved the drill around because sometimes I had to drill or move the drill around a little bit to expand the hole. And this time it is, uh, I just kind of went in and out and thought it wasn't an issue. This <laughs> was a bit of a problematic shelf. I assume I may have just been pressing a little too hard with my screwdriver. Again, you know, you want to be super careful with drywall. Now, granted, I'm sitting here talking while making this video. Maybe I wasn't paying 100% attention. So uh, that one, unfortunately, went through, and uh, there's really nothing more I can do about that one. So I did manage to get this other uh, screw in over here, and I'm just going to put a piece of mounting tape alongside the back here to add some extra security. It'll only have one screw and then a piece of mounting tape. But like I said, um, even if you just use mounting tape, I mean, it is not an issue at all. So we are going to... But at the same time, I always feel extra, extra secure about um, having screws in there. So since there's one screw on the left side, I'm going to make sure to put this more towards the right side. Now, granted, you if you really wanted to, you could... Um, put it all the way across it or whatever um just make sure you press it down there firmly for a little bit but anyway um you know and i figure there's no point in wasting the mounting tape if i'm gonna have the screw on the other side so this is probably honestly m way more than enough anyway i probably could have used a piece half that size but um so we're just gonna make sure that is nice and secure on there and then i'm gonna peel that off and then just line this up here and then press that into the wall. So I'm kind of <laughs> accidentally getting to show you another method, and this would be basically how you would put it up with a mounting strip, except for I basically put the mounting strip um, all the way across, but not, not the entire um, shelf here. I put it across like in between where the two screw holes go. So that's the way it, it's across most of it, but you don't want it, you know, with the screw hole, and then it'll be sticky on that side, and I don't know. It's good enough that way, and plus, you know, it's just using a lot, a lot of tape. Now, granted, don't use too little mounting tape. Don't be too skimpy on it, because you'd be awfully mad when your expensive comic comes falling off the wall because you didn't put enough mounting tape on there. So then that should be good. So and then I just have to finish screwing this one in carefully, not pressing too hard. <laughs> So now that is nicely, firmly secure on there. And also keep in mind, like I said, this is sitting on top of these shelves here. So the bottom shelves really have a lot of extra security with them. And you're supposed to, if you're using the mounting tape, by the way, you're supposed to uh, put the mounting tape on there, uh, make sure it's nice and you know pressed firm on there, and then leave it for 12 hours before putting any weight on here. However, since we're also sitting on top of these shelves, I'm not that concerned about it. I just threw a screw. But so I'm gonna head, go ahead and take one slab. Whoops! I'm gonna take one slab and set it here uh, so that I can get the next shelf on top of it. So then I want to take the next acrylic shelf, set it right on top. Now, granted, this shelf I have a little further right than I would, so I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this one to be a little further left. And it's not gonna really matter because, like I said, you're gonna have space on both sides. Um, do do do. Grab my sharpie. Mark where this is going to be and um, you could go a little further extra if you wanted to and uh, when you put these up here you could use a level to make sure they're nice and level and again that might also be more important depending on how your flooring is uh, but 
with all of as I started doing these again, I was very much more precautious. The more I started doing them, I got a lot more comfortable. Uh, hopefully it doesn't come to bite me in the butt at the end here, but I really stopped using the level because I would just put it up there and it'd be fine. Now, granted, some people are going to want that extra security, um, and I, I don't know. I'm a little crazy. So, let's see. Can you see? Well, you won't be able to see that. All right. Sorry about that. I had to adjust my camera. So, now, so all I did, uh, just in case you didn't get a very good visual of it, uh, so I set the comic here. I grabbed the shelf. I set the shelf on top. Use the Sharpie to make the little two spots. So now I know where to drill. I'm going to go ahead and move the comic out of the way now because I'll be creating some dust. So uh, you're going to take this. Mm. Well, this is the wall that's been giving me, or this is the spot on the wall that's been giving me problems, actually. So I'm probably going to, for this section right here, because it was also like right, um, right here, I think. Maybe, maybe it was on this part. Um, right where I was having issues where there is something hard behind this wall that I cannot drill into. So before I just start drilling all nonsensical, I am just going to drill this one hole right here because I know this side is safe. So now I'm going to put this comic back over here. I'm going to, oh wait. All right, so now then I'm going to put this one part here. So I got that in there nice and secure, and then I'm going to take the comic, set it right there, kind of in the middle, and then grab the plastic shelf, put it on top. Um, oops. All right, so now that I got um, the plastic piece in there, I'm going to grab this comic, sit it there, put the shelf right on top of it, and again, this is ensuring, you know, I have it at the exact level that I want for the next shelf. Get this next, whoops, don't drop it, get this next screw in there, and then go ahead and just screw it, just again, just a little bit, I'm not going to fully tighten it yet, and for this particular part of the wall, I will be using mounting tape, um, which, you know, might be important depending on, I, this is a pretty old house that I, I, I'm in, so, you know, it has some, some weird parts of the wall and whatnot. Um, Whenever you're putting any mounting tape up on uh, these, though, just make sure you're really pressing them, really smoothing them out, getting them nice and flat, and pressing them, holding on there securely for, you know, about 30 seconds or so. Uh, it's not a, a big thing. It's not a complicated thing, but it is important that you do it right. <clears throat> Okay, so now I'm just going to slip that one screw in there, make sure I have it nice and level here, and then hold this part on there again for about roughly 30 seconds. Uh, and then this is going to secure this, uh, this shelf on here. Well, once I get the other screw in here, but I just want to make sure that I hold it on here real tight real quick. It's so funny, whenever I do any <laughs> of these handy projects, which by all accounts I'm not, you know, the greatest handyman in the world. Um, but yeah, it just never fails whenever I'm like, oh, I'm going to make a video helping people how to do this or whatever. And I just come across all kinds of issues and problems and, and whatever, even though something like this, I, I practice and made sure I knew what I was doing before I started the video. So it just goes to show you never know what's going to happen. But, uh, yeah, then we got the next shelf up here so I can, you know, easily, easily put that one there, this one here. And this one I did do, so it feels a little bit tighter. Um, and then, yeah, ready to put comics up on this shelf. 
And always make sure when you're putting these up here, uh, you want them, you know, leaning diagonally with the bottom leaning forward. Uh, you know, you might accidentally hit one into another one. And if it's like kind of, you know, not all the way pushed up to the front, it is a lot easier for it to fall over. All right. So let's look at the final product now. So these were already here, except for the only thing is I added a couple more. We're just, well, just one more shelf up there to hold a couple more comics. And then we wrap around here. I, uh, since my Galaga machine's here, it would have been like kind of covering up one of the, or actually, well, pretty much both the comics there. So I just put two or, you know, two shelves there to hold four more comics. And then here's the big wall of slabs. And I gotta say, that looks pretty freaking sweet. Now, keep in mind, <laughs> these are not in any kind, well, I, I kind of, when I put the, the first ones up that I had up already, those were sort of in, uh, you know, kind of order. Uh, except for, well, I swap whenever, it doesn't matter. Anyway, but like for the most part, I was just putting random slabs up here as I was, uh, you know, building the shelves and getting it all together. And it is just a huge long wall of slabs, and I love it. It looks so freaking cool. Uh, the shelves are barren and empty, right? Well, except for tools and stuff on them. Uh, so those will be the next part. I'm going to fill them up with action figures and, and all that kind of stuff. But I got to say, man, that looks sweet. I am, I'm super happy. Um, well, let's see what it looks like on the, the regular camera now. So here it is, the glorious wall of comics. I can't call it the Great Wall of Comics. That's a Rob Fatstack's thing. Uh, maybe mine can be the glorious wall of comics. The never-ending wall of comics. I think it's a total of 64 slabs up here. So I still have <laughs> still have some that will not be able to make it to the wall. But it is what it is. You know, I definitely, you know, more than double because my last setup only I could hold uh, 30 comics. Uh, I will be going back, I need to get this video edited and everything, so later, some other time, I'll be actually organizing all the comics and everything. Uh, and, you know, some of the comics you won't be able to see, so like my, I have my two Elsa Bloodstone comics uh, up above these right now, and you can't see those. The, the wall bins over here, and you know, I got those four, I had some Star Wars comics over there, so you can't see those right now. And then actually, um, where can you start to see, so you can see Iron Fist? Right there, and then so there's actually six comics that are hidden behind the the little turn there, the little corner um, that you can't really see, or at least you know can't really tell what they are. And then I guess the uh, Galaga machine kind of hides about two half, well, a half and a half of another comic. But you know, and, and for the most part, you know, like I'm sure you won't be able to tell. I might have to readjust my light a little bit now that I got more slabs down there. Because uh, I do have a glare. I do have a glare right there. And uh, I'm going to work on a no glare setup. I had a no glare setup already, but I you know, didn't have the other slabs to set that up. And again, that will be um, a video coming out very, very soon, uh, probably in a couple days, about how to set up your lights and prevent glare. Uh, it is something that can be very tricky, uh, depending on what kind of lights you have, what kind of setup you have, what kind of room and all that. Uh, but I'm I'm very, very happy with uh, how this looks. I can't wait to get a bunch of action figures. And that's going to be another thing that is going to maybe shift around the comics uh, and everything. Because if I want some comics to go with some action figures and stuff like that, I don't know. I don't know what's going to be happening. I might, even, I might even put some more slabs on the shelves. I think might be able to fit. I might have to adjust them a little bit um, to fit some slabs on there to like you know more perfectly pair up with certain action figures and stuff maybe i don't know yet we'll see i really like doing that it's a fun way to decorate but at the same time i have a lot of action figures that need to uh be uh, displayed properly as well so um I'm, I'm pretty happy i'd love to know what you all think of the the new setup the new comic wall and everything um and that's gonna be it for today thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you next time <laughs> Ha ha ha!